Namaste, everybody. This is a, a class for every morning, every night, every day, anytime that you want to change the way you feel, the way you want to <clears throat> feel yourself to be more positive, more confident, more joyful. So welcome to this class. I want us to start with a breathing exercise called alternate nostril breathing. And I am recommending the oil Ylang Ylang. Why am I so passionate about these essential oils? Because they are the fastest um, help that we have in changing our energy anytime, anywhere. So I put a few drops in my hand. Ylang Ylang helps us be in touch with our feelings, with our inner child mind, the part of our mind that is causing all the problems. Because every day, all the time, forever, everything is fine the way it is. Even when we have problems, even though we are like stuck, even though we feel helpless, even though we feel like we have no power, like it's the same thing that's helpless, right? But, you know, say in a different way can relate, right? We all have things that happen that we feel that way at times. But when time goes by, we're like, wait, there's something I can do about it now. When 25 years ago this happened and oh God, that makes me feel so angry and you know, makes me feel this way and that way, but now I can do something about it. Now what am I doing? Now how do I treat myself? This the oil Ylang Ylang helps, the yoga helps, the breathing helps, the tapping helps. And if you're still stuck after class, reach out. Think about doing a private session with me. I'll get you. I'll help you with the breakthrough. Also, I can recommend others to you. Virtual, in person, you don't have to be stuck. Choose not to remain stuck, angry, bitter, lifeless, like blah. When you feel really exhausted for no good reason, so what are you thinking? How are you making sense out of what happened you know whenever so anyway i'm getting on my soapbox because i'm really passionate about every day getting up showing up showing up for who for you for me when you show up for you you are showing up for me we're like a link we're a chain link we all breathe the same air we're all in the same net the ancient Egyptians used to call this matrix, this life force, this universal field, the energy field, the, the Brahman, as the yogis called it, the Brahman, the, the energy field, the, the universal consciousness, they called it the net. Isn't that cool? Like, yeah, that makes sense. I can see the net, the mesh, the, but it's very subtle. Our thoughts affect the mesh. And sometimes we've had trauma. Well, the mesh in our energy field has maybe holes in it, but you can repair it. You can be stronger than ever before. So age doesn't matter. Politics doesn't matter. You got to nourish yourself. So here we go. Ylang Ylang helps it all. <laughs> I know, right? Ylang Ylang, it smells amazing. <sighs> because you breathe it. And there's a couple of light, little tiny glands in the brain, the base of the brain, amygdala. Those little tiny glands, goodness, they remember how your body reacted when something traumatic, unexpected, awful, scary happened that was not fair. And it might have happened again and again and again. And then those amygdalas are like hyper alert. When a similar situation happens, then you're like, your body responds like you get this cold sweat, your, your body just shrink and your mind like freaks out and your eyes pop and your shoulders shrug and your, you hold your breath and your stomach hurts. All of those are like bodily sensations. That doesn't mean that you're not safe, but the body is saying you're not safe. So the oils, you inhale, the amygdala is like, Ah, oh, okay, fine. Eventually, the oils can help the amygdala, the body, have a sense of safety. 
So enough talk, right? But I'm like, I gotta go on my soapbox so you understand these things that we do in this community. They are scientific, <clears throat> philosophical, they're ancient. Billions of people have used these skills and techniques and they have received the help they've been looking for easily, effortlessly, right then and there. So I want you to really put your heart in it and be curious and practice these every day. I say one yoga class a day. That's why I created 20 minute ones, 30 minute ones for you. <clears throat> and they're the weekly. Here we go. I know, right? So sit up straight, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, as you sit up straight, let your shoulders relax. I know sometimes the sitting up straight business is not easy, but hey, you're getting used to it. You can round your spine for a minute and then straighten up again. <clears throat> Bring a hand towards your face, usually the dominant hand. Block off the right nostril, breathing through the left. And then block your left nostril with any of those finger pads. Unblock the right. Exhale through the right. Don't press firmly on that nostril. It's not comfortable. You don't need to. Inhale through the right. Block the right nostril. Unblock the left. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Block your left. Exhale right. <clears throat> Inhaling slow and easy through the right. Block your right, exhale left. Watching your thoughts come and go. <clears throat> Inhaling through the left. Block your left, exhale right. Sit straight up. Now close your eyes. Inhaling through the right. Block your right, exhale left. Inhaling through the left. Block your left, exhale right. <clears throat> Sorry. Inhaling through the right. Block your right, exhale left. Inhaling through the left. Block your left, exhale right. Inhaling through the right. Block the right, exhale left. And release your hands on your laps and just close your eyes and let yourself feel. And it's okay if you didn't have the essential oil I talked about. You may not even have any essential oils yet, but maybe think about getting one in the near future or just pretend, or like if you have a fresh flower, like a, <clears throat> if any of the flowers you do have, if they smell, and you know, have that. Or pretend you're smelling a rose. And so bring your hands to prayer by your heart. And, and I'm, I say prayer, but you can say meditation or like reverence or respect or whatever, or heartfelt. You know, it, some of us are like really turned off by any sort of like religious words or you know what I mean? You don't have to at all mm, get stuck on that. Just replace the word. And if you bring your hands to your heart, take a deep breath, sit up even taller. And then say to yourself like, I am here now and I'm okay. And I'm proud of myself for setting some time aside just for myself and me. I want to be truly transparent with myself today, now. I want to be loving, accepting, caring towards myself. I want to start my life fresh. I want to think truthful thoughts, positive thoughts, thoughts that empower me and make me feel better all the time. I want to live my life for me now. I want to take, a, take a control of my own thinking, my own belief system. I refuse to be a victim of anything or anyone anymore. Even my culture, 
the programming, my family, my community. I want to be my own person, my own authority. I want to take charge. I want to start fresh. I want to build a framework for my life, what I believe, my values, my intentions for me. I want to be the real deal in this world. I want to be real. I want to be real for me, for my family, my culture, no matter what. I want to be as real as I can be today and more real tomorrow. I can do this. I want to learn to do this. I want to show up happy, joyful, nourished, nurtured, empowered, healthy, happy. I want to be the leader for me, for my family, for my community, for the world. <sighs> Make that your intention. Life is so precious. And we have so many choices that allow us to have control over our own personal life. You can do it. Bow to yourself. I want to believe that I deserve the best. I want to believe that I can do it. I want to take a step forward every moment of the day. Cleaning out the closets of my mind. I want to live my yoga. I want to live a life that I never maybe in the past believed that it was possible. But I can do it now. I want to do this now. Use your own words, your own language, but say it, do it, go there with me. Namaste. Remember, this is our soul journey. Soul journey, this is big. So let's go get on our mats. And when we get on our mats, we're going to stand up on our mats. And in this class, we're going to use the works. We're going to use all of our props. All of our props, all of our props. Come on up and stand up on your feet. And as you stand up on your feet, step in place. And as you step in place, feel your feet. Maybe bend the knee. And then from here, open your arms. Let's do some high knees. Bring our elbows, bend them, and, and then squeeze. You can even like squeeze your abdomen and go ha, ha. And then when you step your foot down on the mat, really feel the strength in that leg. Exhale, exhale, squeeze your abdomen. Ha, ha, let's come alive. Let's wake up. Let's energize ourselves. Let's pump that energy that makes all the best things happen in our lives. Exhale, exhale, exhale. One more each side. Fantastic. Now open the arms out. March in place. We just want to work out. I meant to say I want to warm up. <laughs> <sighs> breathe and then step your feet out and then we're going to leave the feet where they are and we're going to reach the one arm up <clears throat> like a windmill like um, just squeezing the side body but yet keeping the spine really tall exhale if you have back issues well then exhale really well squeeze your abdomen tightly squeeze your legs buttocks abdomen and go ha, 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 ha. That's good. Stay here, arms out. This is called the five star pose. Look straight forward and now release your arms, some shoulder rolls, <clears throat> and then step your feet back. You can march in place. Good. <clears throat> now we're going to take the arms behind, clasp a couple of fingers, open your chest. Remember, your heart expands with this beautiful white light in your heart <clears throat> that can diffuse anything. Heart feelings, anger, <clears throat> sadness, whatever, into pure light and love. I mean, it may or may not happen magically, but think about it all the time. It's like, what do you want? What do you want? 
What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? So stretch the muscles on your chest. Take another deep breath. <clears throat> Fantastic. Release, hug yourselves tightly, pat yourselves on the back. After all, you are the person who's setting up time aside for your well-being and health and all of the goodness that you are expecting. So voila, keep praising yourself. Scoot your butt back, bend your knees, and let's make a few circles with our hips. Now, those of you who, <laughs> mind you, <laughs> complain and say, oh, I just don't have an hour. I say, okay, fine, give me 30 minutes. Give me 20 minutes. Turn this off and go about your business now if you want. Really, you can. You call the shots. You can dedicate as much time. And I do know what you mean. Some days we're like, oh my God, I have so much to do. I got work. I got this. I got that. I get it. I got, I got a lot going on. And you know what? 20 minutes is good. 10 minutes is amazing. Just dedicate as much time as you want. But do a little bit every day. Five minutes. I even tell, okay, circle your hips to go to the other side. Squeeze your abdomen. Take some deep breaths. I tell all of you all that I am always your biggest cheerleader. And I believe in you. And I think that you deserve to take care of yourself. This is showing yourself self-love and care. And, and when you do your yoga, your whole day is better. You know it and I know it. Now straighten your legs out, open your arms, put your fingers, <clears throat> turn your toes out, straight leg pretty much, and then go down and up, uh, down and up. Like exhale, exhale like halfway, Ex squeeze your abdomen. We need strong back muscles. Here we go, exhale, exhale. Exhale and then squeeze the right elbow to the knee and switch. Squeeze those knees out, okay? Don't let the knees come inside. Exhale. Exhale. Spread your toes wide. Ha! One more each way. Good. Now put your hands on your knees. Scoot your hips up and up like your tailbone goes back and up. Lift the chest. Look up. Lift the chin. Exhale, squeeze your abdomen, curl the tailbone underneath you, pull your belly in, tuck your chin to the chest, exhale fully, inhaling, reverse, exhaling, <clears throat> deep, deep breaths, inhale, exhale, rounding, three more on your own, whatever you don't want to hold on to anymore, Fear, anger, shame, frustration, <clears throat> impatience, hopelessness, confusion. Let it go. You deserve to know and believe that you got the power to turn anything around. And I'm sorry that you've had such painful experiences and crazy situations. Come on up. Inhale up and reach up. Look up. Squeeze your buttocks, lean back, exhale, forward fold. You can put your hands on your legs, flat back. But you know what? We all have, and guess what? We create them. I know, right? Inhale up and reach up, look up, squeeze your buttocks, lean back, exhale, forward fold, hands on your legs. <sighs> I mean, <clears throat> I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for me. I think we create this painful, crazy stuff so that later we're like, dude, I know how that feels when people go through da 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 da. And I did it. I, I survived and I am like in a much better place. I have so many <clears throat> experiences that can help me be who I really was meant to be. And exhale, inhale, arms up, reach up, look up, lean back. So use it all to empower yourself. Okay, enough. Step on your mat in the long way. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I don't know why I have to keep clearing my throat. Some days I have no problem with that. I don't know what it is. Step your legs wide so that you still feel grounded, okay? Now we want to do some really empowering yoga poses. So turn your right toes out directly and then slide your left toes in directly. Let's straighten the right leg. 
Sorry, last time I will not clear my throat again. Okay, I made a commitment, I won't do it. Squeeze your legs, so the muscles under your leg, right under your arm, under your hand, these are uh, above your knees are very active. Now I'm beginning, that's right, to tilt a little bit or a lot towards my leg, but my hips are lifting up. Don't bring your hips towards the leg. That's right. So this hip is opening. Squeeze. That kneecap needs to be locked. You can even... <clears throat> uh oh I cleared my throat again. Sorry. And then, so my stance was a little too wide, so I had to shrink it a little bit. Adjust if you need. So lift your belly and the ribs up and go and put some weight on this front leg. But notice I'm not dropping my head. Lift your head up, lift the chest up. And then if you want, you can add that upper arm, reach it, bring it over, bring it back up again, bend your knee, come on up, reach up, and look up at the upper hand, bending the front leg, back leg is straight. Now open the arms out like, <clears throat> uh oh, <laughs> I know I better not commit when I can't keep, keep the commitment. Squeeze the thigh and go down. Breathe, lift your chest up and lift the ribs towards the sky and show strength and power. Inhale, look up, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, go back and feel that beautiful side stretch and feel how strong you are. Repeat a couple more times. See how I'm going slowly? I want you to feel how strong you are. You're getting stronger by the minute. That's right. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> I know. I hope you're not being annoyed. And then inhale up. And, and by the way, let me know how this pre-recorded video is working out for you. I hope they work for you because they work for me. I, I jump on here and I do a few of my yoga classes myself. Oh, every day I do one of them. So I think it works for me. I want to hear from you. Now go ahead and that's enough. Turn your feet to the same direction. <clears throat> Outside of your feet are parallel. Forward fold with your back straight. Take the arms behind you. Let's test the waters. Let's test our legs and see how much we can actually go down without rounding our spine, okay? Keep the back tall, shoulder blades on your back, and don't move your hips back. Stay grounded on both of your feet. Spread your toes wide. Squeeze your abdomen. See if you can open the arms. Go a little lower. Maybe pulse it a little bit, just a few times. You can hold on to your legs if you want. Even poke your thighs. Make sure they're active. When you go down and it's like, whoa, I am really flexible today. Go put your hands on the floor. Squeeze your tummy. Tighten, 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 and then release your spine. Let go, but keep your arms, your whole body active. Inhale, squeeze those legs. Exhale, squeeze your abdomen, lift your tailbone, and release your spine by keeping the abdominals and arms and legs really active, shaking the head. Again, repeat, inhale, pressing into your feet. Squeeze those legs. Exhale, tighten the abdomen, release, and let go. Now bend your knees and go side to side. You can lift the head, breathe flat back, go side to side, go slowly. We are in the cool season. I think most of the places in the world are a little chilly about now, except Hawaii. Even Guatemala yesterday, I had my Spanish lesson and she said, oh, it's, it's, it's mucho frío, and, and it's really cold here. I'm like, well, how many degrees? It was like 66. To them, it was really cold because they're in the summer right now. Go side to side, but they still had chilly weather. All right. And now bend your knees, hands on the floor, flat back. And now as you press into your hands and then turn your heels and toes in, bend your knees. Come on up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release. Now we want to practice those poses second side. So first we begin by having our feet, legs wide open. You're still uh, strong. Now turn the left toes out, stable and strong. 
and then pivot your right toes in. The back heel goes back and then straighten the front leg. Now, as you squeeze your legs, remember, pull your abdomen in, turn your hips towards the monitor, towards me, towards the outside long edge of your mat. When you do that, your shoulders almost align in the same plane. Then we're going to slowly go down. You may be able to go down so you can put your hands on your thigh, but don't put your hands on the kneecap. Put it on your shin. Put a lot of weight on the front leg and lift your spine and chest and head and arms up, shoulder blades on your back, and then bend your knee, front leg, come on up. Now lean back, put your back hand on the back leg, reach through the front arm, exhale, don't forget to breathe, and then repeat slow and steady. We want to feel how strong and amazing we are. We are so strong and amazing. And what the cool thing is, when we feel it, when we feel deservable or deserving of peace, health, joy, prosperity, success, it doesn't like happen like I'm here now wanting it and then mm, turn a switch. You have to keep at it. You have to do these yoga classes. You have to keep your mind focused. You have to breathe. You have to go through it. You have to go through it. And most of us don't want to go through it. We want it right here, right now. If we try one thing one day and it didn't like get us to where we were hoping, just like, where did we get the hope? Like, imagine that maybe a misunderstanding and then we're like, no, nah, this stuff doesn't work. Mm -mm. Nope, not gonna do it again. I'm, I'm stuck, I'll always be stuck. You know what I mean? <sighs> Don't do that. Tell your loved ones not to do that either. We all must show up for ourselves and really claim our inner powers. Feel it now. One more time each way. Feel those strong legs. Don't just rush from side to side. Squeeze every inch of the muscles on your legs, arms, abdomen, back. Smile and breathe. Feel your aliveness. So good. And then I think that's enough. Arms out. Turn your feet to the same direction. I know. Put your hands on your hips. Roll your shoulders back. Now turn your toes out and let's go side to side is all. Breathe in, breathe out. This is a great hip opener for our hips, our knees, legs, and this helps your back. Got sore backs. All of these are helping your back, I'm just saying. Breathe in, breathe out. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. <clears throat> inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release the arms. Stay grounded. Inhale one more time. Breathe in. Exhale, release the hands. Bring your hands on your lower back. Apply. Move your hips forward. I'm going to turn to the side. Move your hips forward. Put some pressure on your lower back or your glutes. Squeeze. Move your hips forward. Shoulder blades back. Lean back. Look at the ceiling. Tighten the abdomen. And then come back to the center, forward fold, straight legs, straight back, come on back, inhale, exhale. Squeeze those elbows towards each other, just one more time. So good. Now bend your legs a lot, step your feet together, marching in place, maybe some shoulder rolls. Now let's just do a fun <clears throat> balancing thing. You just, you know, I'm gonna do this like that. So put your right foot forward, lean on it, lift the back leg. Just a little like, whoa, like keep grounding the right foot. Just lifting, bring the leg back. Just lift, look forward, and then choose what you wanna do with your arms. Balance on the front leg, on the right leg. Nothing exciting, nothing detail -y. Just lean forward, keep your abdominals the whole 
beautiful postures that we've been practicing. You got a table like me nearby, which is really nice. Just put some <laughs> weight on the table. You can even go to half moon from here. You can even grab the foot if you wanted to and, and do a dancer pose, however you want to do it. You want to grab the foot from inside, outside. You got to, woo, my basket wasn't stable. But, but just have fun with balancing on the front leg, marching in place. You want to grab a block and have fun at it. You want to have a chair. Let me bring my chair to show. Some of you may actually have like an object in your yoga room, like a, a, you know, a chair, a table, or a bed. Just put some weight on the front leg. It's really fun, but you rely on your abdominals to balance. Really be mindful. Keep the front foot really grounded. You know, this balancing thing, very, very important. We never want to not have control over our own physical body, our own mind, our own personal life, and our own personal choices. Right now, everywhere in the world, and particularly in Iran, Iranian women and men and younger, especially students are protesting, wanting freedom. They want to have control over their personal life human rights. So it's very important. You fight for it. You fight for it, meaning you fight the world to have the time to do this. You know, not to put, because the demands of our everyday are just, can become very overwhelming. And there won't be any time for us. We have to fight for that. We just boundaries, boundaries, right? <sighs> One more time. Enjoy it, whatever. You want to <laughs> be careful not to do what I just did. I love to use props and, and gadgets to enjoy a yoga pose. It just makes it deeper, more enjoyable. Okay, I'm going to put my chair up. Uh-oh, my basket fell over while I turned around. So we're going to go to the floor now. Uh, if you have a strap, hopefully you do, uh, bring a blanket and a strap. Maybe you can even set up for your Shavasana, but just don't cover your body yet. Um, we want to have a <clears throat> some paddings under the head. And you don't want to put anything that is too thick, but just enough to support the neck and the head. And I just want to ask you to use a strap, um, but then, you know, I have my scarf and sandbag. And by the way, my Amazon uh, page on the front, front page of my website, sarah.guru, S-A-R-A dot G-U-R-U. Go and order all your props if you don't have, you know, I picked them all up, they're in the Amazon page. So lie down on your back, reach those arms overhead in, in uh, also, um, if you need new eye pillows, those of you who still have the eye pillows from Yoga Home of Therapeutics, I know, I know Marsha and, and Rebecca and Neil definitely have your eye pillows, I bet. If you want new ones, I found some really identical ones you can order, unscented and all that on Amazon. Uh, one of us can order one and split it because I think it's like a package of six or something and like each of us take two or each of you. So anyway, lying down on your backs, reach those arms overhead, bend your knees and squeeze those knees side to side. And then when you're ready, keeping those knees bent, bring your arms alongside you. You have a strap. If you don't have your strap, just use your hands. Lift the head for a second. Bring your right knee in. Take the strap around your right foot. Hold the right. Hold the strap on your right foot. And feel the leg stretch. Squeeze the right leg. Relax the lower back, but tighten the abdomen. You can straighten the left leg. If you promise me, keep the left leg super active. 
foot flexed, right leg active and flexed, and abdominal super active, and the, the right arm straight, squeeze the right shoulder blade down, release the left arm alongside you, or place it on your left hip bone, which is right above, so get your thigh bone, follow it all the way up, and you'll find that pokey thing, and then as you pull the strap, take the right leg out, but keep the left lower back flat on the floor. Both shoulder blades are down on your back. Otherwise, keep the left leg bent. This is very active. You know this. Don't tilt your head sideways as if you're eating a taco. <laughs> keep the neck straight. Breathe, squeeze, tighten. Straight right and left leg. Flex both feet. Tighten even more. <sighs> and then bring the leg back. Switch hands on the strap. Take the left leg a little bit over the uh, uh, midline. So right foot aligned with the left shoulder, hold. And now take the leg all the way to the floor and look to your right hand. Both legs super active, abdominal super active. <sighs> right shoulder blade squeezing towards the floor. You got it, one more breath. Oh, the outer thighs, the upper upper part of the upper glutes and upper outer thigh. So good. Need that IT band. <sighs> one more breath. I know I said one more five minutes ago. <sighs> Bend the leg, come back. Take the strap, put it on your belly, reaching the arms and legs the opposite direction. And then bend your legs, squeeze those legs to the knees to the floor, and back over to the other side. When you're in a center, hug both knees, lift the head and neck. Good job. Put that right foot on the floor. Keep your left knee into your chest and put the strap around the left foot, taking the left leg out. <sighs> Enjoy the hamstring stretch and the activity in the upper thigh foot flexed. Do not relax your foot when you got to flex it so that all these muscles fire up. Shoulder blades should always be underneath you as if you're standing up on your feet. Hold, hold, breathe. Choose what version of this stretch you would like to enjoy. Hip opener. Breathing deeply. No effort ever goes wasted. What happens in our lives happens because we get stronger and that we experience. We don't need to ask, why did this happen? Why did that happen? It's like we have to always release the need to know why things happen as they do. Because we'll never know anyway, right? Why waste our time and be miserable? And having temper tantrums. <laughs> you know, we can do that for a couple of days, but then let's get back to reality and say, okay, I'm willing to learn and grow and move on. Breathe, 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 and then bend that leg, bring it back. Stay, realign, and then cross over your midline three inches. Get that outer thigh stretch. <sighs> Relax your face. Make sure you are not clenching your teeth together. And then go all the way. Oh, so good. You can turn your head. Look at the opposite hand. You can bend the bottom leg if you would like. Just straighten the upper leg. Active abdomen. Hold, hold. <sighs> Tighten the abdomen. One more breath. <sighs> Every time I swear I, I practice this pose, I think of Rebecca Thompson. <laughs> She loves this posture. I love it. 
He always inspired me that remember to do this at the end of each class. Take another deep breath. Exhale, bring the leg back. Straighten that leg all the way. And then if you have a strap, put both feet in it and then open those legs and enjoy that rocking. Feels so nice, let the legs relax. If you don't have the straps, just put your hands around the legs and, and just rock. Abdominals active. And inhale, exhale. And then hug your knees into your chest. And rock side to side. Give yourself a tight hug. Straighten the right leg. Bring the right knee in, straighten the left leg. Do it again. So good, abdominal super tight, look to the belly. Uh, actually, you must better look to the ceiling. And one more each way, knees into your chest, feet on the floor, reaching the arms overhead. Roll the knees side to side, get those quadriceps, muscles on tops of your knees to get a wonderful stretch. And then about now, if there's any other postures you would like to practice, like the bridge, lift your hips. I would say remove the blanket from under your head so that you can safely stretch the neck. That would be a great uh, posture. And tighten the abdomen, squeeze your butt, tighten the back muscles, legs. Squeeze those legs away from your face. Don't put weight on your head, make sure you Get a good stretch in your neck, but that's about it. Don't do too much. Hold, hold. You should feel a stretch in your crease, which is where your legs attach to your abdomen and your, your pelvis. That deep in there, hip flexors need a stretch there. And then slowly come back down, reach the arms overhead, and then hug your knees. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh, you are welcome to choose that pose then or now. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful closure to those postures. Also the pigeon on our backs, crossing one leg over the other might be very enjoyable for you and or set up for your Shavasana. <sighs> I'd like to enjoy a couple of breaths and the outer thigh stretches. Every yoga pose helps you get closer to your intention. Every yoga pose you practice, every breath you take will take you closer and connect you deeper to your intention, that which you want for your life. <sighs> so no effort goes wasted. You want peace, you want clarity, this is it. Stay here, stay with me. You can do the bridge uh, again, or you can hold on to this, or you, you should be, or you could be setting up for your Shavasana. I'm going to guide you into a yummy Shavasana. By the way, I have created a Shavasana video for you. You can just do that on demand uh, as you go through the day. Maybe just before bed, I, I created a video for the days you may feel sad or got the holiday blues, you know, some restorative yoga. So feel free, those are good enough for any time, any day. You don't have to always do active yoga. Go side to side. And then when you're ready, Roll to one side, come on up and sit up for your Shavasana. And you all know how to sit up for Shavasana. You all are experts. So bring your bolsters, put them under your legs. Cover your bodies. And if you're in a hurry, you're like, oh, I gotta go. Stay for another five minutes and then go, okay? Just feel, process. This is the most important part of your yoga practice. It's the harvesting the fruit of your hard work, integration to happen. As you lie down on your backs, close your eyes, cover your eyes, take a deep breath and drop in. Bring your total attention to the point between the eyebrows. 
and just let go. Drop in, go about three inches deep into your brain. Let go of all doing. Let go of all worries. Drop into the deepest level of relaxation in the point between your eyebrows where you can watch all images and memories and thoughts and whatever come and go, all feelings. Just let go. Now imagine a beautiful cocoon, egg shape, energy field, pure energy. Give it a color if you want to feel repaired, if you need repair and healing. Imagine a golden light. If you need emotional healing, imagine this halo or rather this hue, this energy field to be pink, like laser light, like, like a cloud, like a sphere of like ozone, like a atmosphere, like a <clears throat> energy uh, field, like the Star Wars movie where they were transporting themselves from one place to another and you saw their energies just glow before they disappeared to show up fully in their bodies in a different place. Imagine it any which way, sparkle, shimmering, shining, pure white light. If you are wanting to feel your own soul healing your body, mind, see this beautiful ball of light to be of color of silver. If you need spiritual healing, it's golden. If you want emotional healing, see it as pink. If you want physical healing, see it as silver. If you want your heart to heal, see it as golden silver light. <sighs> Take a deep breath of this light, your own soul's light it is, and take it to every cell of your body. Create a cocoon of light that goes underneath side of your body. Take a deep breath and release. <sighs> Again, inhale. And now just let go and let everything be. Just relax. You know this place. Just relax in this place.
in many religions. <clears throat> They refer to the inner power, our divine essence, the part of us that can manifest greatness. Like Jeff Bezos with Amazon, now with Blue Origin, um, rocket business, who, mind you, my son is working for. And, um, you know, uh, Steve Jobs with Microsoft, with, with all that internet and computer and design and the just so many greatness, Nelson Mandela. And so that greatness within us, the spark of divinity, a, a yoga, we say, inner guru. Guru means teacher. Guru is G-U-R-U. G-U-R-U. Two words means dark and light. So being led from darkness to light. The teacher, that's what a teacher does for us. A mentor leads us from ignorance to alertness and awakeness and to knowingness. So the, the referring, the, the religions call it like the glory of God, but you have to translate that to the language that you feel safe with. So I like to read you what Nelson Mandela left us with or says to us many, many years ago. As you know, he was in jail imprisoned for many, many decades because he wanted his country freed from foreign uh, interference. And so he said, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Who are you not to be? You are a child of God. You playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You were born to manifest the glory of God, inner guru, inner teacher, inner guidance, guidance intuition, inner light, inner divine beingness. You were born to manifest that within <clears throat> ourselves. It is not just in some of us, it is in all of us, in everyone. And we, as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And this is where you must lead the way. You are the emissary of light and love. This is your responsibility. If you don't shine your light, if you're not demonstrating and being it, how do you expect the world to do this, to do that? How do you expect your loved ones to do the same? How do you expect the world to be peaceful, to illuminate? Starts with you and me. You can do it. Whenever you're ready, my love, begin to wiggle your toes and hands. Bring your hands and place them over your heart center which is the center of your chest. <clears throat> 
Right hand, left hand. Breathing deeply. Breathing deeply. And then slowly bring your knees into your chest and wrap your arms around your legs and hug yourself and rock from side to side. Please move slowly. Keep your heads on the floor. And then roll over all the way on your right side with your eyes closed. And remember your intention. Remember why you woke up today. Remember what you want for, for your life. And if you don't know, it's perfectly okay. Just put that out there. Make that your intention. I want to know what I want. Let that be your intention. You're like, oh, that's right. It's okay not to know. I've been putting out a lot of fires. I've been doing so much. It's okay not to know. I'm starting now. I want to know what I want for me. Breathing deeply. Slowly press into your hands. Use the strength of your arms to come up to a seated pose. When you're upright, put your hands in meditation and straighten that spine. Shoulders down and back. Parallel your chin to the floor and breathe. We disengaged from the rest of the world for this hour. We evoked the conscious effort to breathe consciously today. And this is our secret weapon. That is what ignites our inner teacher, our inner badass. <laughs> The inner feisty, determined, strong, enlightened part of us to become who we were meant to be, to be our own best friend, best teacher, and to leave our mark on this planet Earth before we exit our bodies. To be the light, to be the healthiest person you know, to be the most happiest person you know, the most strongest determined person you know, towards the light, towards guidance, towards that powerful force in the world to awaken others by just showing up by just being you. Not for anyone else but yourself and the divine creator, the universal mind that we all come from. Christ consciousness, Buddha mind, Allah, love, light, God, whatever you may call it. Deeply bow to yourself and say to yourself, I am strong, I am powerful, I am adequate, I am that which I have been seeking, I can do this, namaste lovely people, I am forever blessed because you are in my life, Jai Bhagwan. Victory to your soul. May you always be happy, healthy, and well. May you always dwell in God, and may you always be befriend your soul. The words of Yogi Bhajan, the Kundalini Yoga founder. <sighs> now go about your day. Go have a good time. Drink lots of water. And know that I'm always here to cheer you on.
Until next class. Bye.